life. Things to make sure you're living well. Brought to you by Baptist Health. Keep on amazing. Fox 16 News is sponsored by Everett Chevrolet. You're watching Fox 16 News at 9. Covering Sherwood, Maumelle, Little Rock, and all of Central Arkansas. In tonight's State of the Nation report, recent satellite images appear to show new activity at a North Korean missile launch site. Experts say it has been dormant since August. President Trump is disappointed by this development. Jillian Turner has the story. New satellite images of North Korea suggest now Kim Jong-un may be preparing to launch either a missile or satellite near Pyongyang. On Friday, President Trump said he'd be, quote, disappointed if Kim resumed nuclear weapons testing. This just a week after the bottom fell out of his summit with Kim in Vietnam. This morning, though, his national security advisors making the case to the American people that all's well and setting the stage for yet another summit with Kim. They had a full exchange of views, as the saying goes. Uh, and it was clear they weren't going to reach agreement. So what the president did uh, was, as he put it, to, to walk away in a friendly way from the discussion. He said he's prepared to beat Kim Jong-un again. It's uh, no date set or anything like that. The news about new launch plans comes just a couple of days after the U.S. discovered Kim has rebuilt North Korea's main rocket launch site. Another worrisome sign that the situation is deteriorating rapidly in the wake of failed U.S. negotiations. Bolton, though normally a realist, is holding out hope. It's possible that North Korea will go back and rethink uh, the position they came in with and come back to talk to the president. President Trump himself is standing by his favorite talking point. But we'll see what happens. Look, when I came in under the Obama administration, North Korea was a disaster. You were going to war, folks, whether you know it or not. You were going to work. North Koreans, meanwhile, are at the polls today for the second parliamentary elections under Kim's rule. Elections that the international community widely recognizes to be a sham. On North Korea's so-called election day, every person over the age of 17 is required to cast their vote in favor of Kim's party. And then afterwards, join a cheering crowd outside their polling station. Citizens who try to resist are often tracked down by Kim's secret police force. In Washington, Jillian Turner, Fox News. A bus exploded in Sweden today, rocking the center of the city. This is video of that. Fortunately, there were no passengers on board. Stockholm police say the driver survived with severe burns. Police are investigating the fire as a traffic accident, saying there were no signs it was terror related. A rescue worker believes the bus collided with barriers at the entrance of a tunnel, causing a gas tank to explode. A woman had to be rushed to the hospital after being attacked by a jaguar at Wildlife World Zoo in Phoenix. And we do want to warn you, this, may be, this video may be graphic to some. Officials say the woman attempted to take a selfie near the fence of the enclosure. That's when the animal reached out and attacked her arm. They say the jaguar was never out of its enclosure. The zoo also says the animal will not be euthanized. People do not respect the barriers. There's always a chance that there might be a problem. Officials say the woman's injuries are not life-threatening. Coming up after the break, snoring is something that many Americans deal with nightly. Hear about a Florida man who was shot by his own girlfriend for snoring too loudly. And still to come, a family desperately searches for answers after a memorial bench was stolen out of a cemetery. Stay with us.